Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron Brick, Promised Land Outdoors. On this week's episode, we're following along with my Aunt Rhonda as we go out to Arizona for a pronghorn hunt. Saw a ton of good bucks, had a great time, and you're gonna wanna stay tuned and see what happens. From where I'm from, it's just another day. Well, we had about an eight or nine hour drive to get to where we were going, and by the time we got there, we were flat exhausted. We immediately set up camp, we went straight to bed, woke up the next morning, we got in about two or three days before the hunt, got in the side by side, we were eager to get out, and we immediately started doing some scouting. We're out here doing some scouting, looking for some antelope. And uh, coming across this unfortunate site. It's a dead cow, if you can't tell. And uh, it's what the heat out here in Arizona do to you. It's pretty hot. It's uh, typically around 115 degrees, but today only 93. But unfortunately, this this cow here didn't make it back. The water, something happened. But it's tough. It's amazing these antelope can survive and all this stuff as well. It's a little dusty out there, let me tell you. The good news is we're staying at a little campground and they got showers. So I'll be getting in one of those. What's that down there, that white thing? After a couple days of scouting, we shot the rifle to make sure we were still on, so we knew we were ready for opening day. Come here. You don't have time to wait. They're right here. Right there. Take it outside. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Give her the sticks if she needs them. Give her the sticks. Not now. Aim for his chest. Aim for his chest. Okay. 
You know, when Mom missed that buck, you could tell right away she was pretty discouraged and upset. But we knew it was opening day, we knew we had plenty of time, and immediately after that we went and checked out a water hole, and wouldn't you know it, there was a buck and a doe, and they were coming in fast. Got him. Got him, Mom. <coughs> Go down. Go down. Nice. Good job. <laughs> now you getting no shaky? Yeah. He's tall. He doesn't cut whole. Uh, he's got good cutters. But he's got good cutters. Yeah. I can't believe I shot him. He didn't even mark. No, well, you drilled him. You drilled him. It was all over with. Well, we're in northern Arizona, and uh, this is my wife's first antelope tag, and uh, We've gotten on a few other antelope and just couldn't get the shot uh, the way we wanted it. And uh, we, this is a perfect scenario. We just showed up probably less than 10 minutes ago, spotted him coming into water. We got set up. It was a perfect setup and uh, perfect shot. Uh, she drilled him, and as you can tell, the rest is history. He got one. I right? got one. He got one. <laughs> <It> gets... <laughs> Wow, isn't that awesome? I'm so ecstatic and happy for my aunt. I could not be more proud of her. As always guys, thank you for watching this video. If you could, like, subscribe, and if you're willing, share this video. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, God bless guys.